support you. Some of them, Sorry to get as you know, we, we all need, um, like you said, we need to work. So I'm speaking on behalf of them. Um, about uh, a few years, well, I'll say 10, 15 years ago, we are in the same battle that you guys are in now. Kaiser was the same way Saturn is now. We, we had seven strikes. And I know you guys have been, this is going to be your what, second or third? Okay. Keep fighting. We ultimately won after about almost three years of struggle, but we won. And so if we stay together, then we will get there. Just to let you know, Pat Fry made $4.7 million yeah. last year. Boom. And this is reported reported, you know, through the IRS filing. So 4.7 million. I cannot even um, fatten how many zeros there are in that figure. Never touches a patient either. That's right. <laughs> Patients come to San Leandro because of you guys, not because of him. Right. So you are the backbone of this hospital. This hospital will not be as great as it is if not for you guys. So they don't come here because of Pat Fry or the other 20 corporate executives that had made over a million dollars each a year. That would be like all of us combined, you know, for so many years. And not even, that's right. So again, on behalf of all the nurses at Kaiser and also uh, nurses throughout the state of California and also throughout the nation, we are supporting each other. Someone had said, a nurse is a nurse, and if they take one of us on, they take all, all of us, us on. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. A couple of questions. Hi, are you a nurse here? Yes, I am. Uh, can you tell me why you're out on strike? Yeah, did, uh, trying to take away uh, all our benefits. And we've, I've been working there more than 20 years now. 20 years? More than 20 years. Yes. And, and uh, what about wages? Are they also taking wages? They're wages and sick leave, is that it? No, it's the benefits. All our sick time, oh. they want to take away our sick time and a uh, lot of benefits. Uh, the people who are working three-fifths, they want to take away the three-fifth position. What is the three-fifth position? It's uh, three days a week. Oh, yeah? They're working three days a week, they don't want to give benefits and they don't want... Oh, oh, I see. And what about the nurse-to-patient ratio? Do, do you have that? Do they yes, still have we, that? we have the ratio. And, and are they trying to attack that? That's legislation, isn't it? Yes. No, that, and that's not uh, the thing. They're just trying to take away all our benefits. All of your benefits. How have things been f over the past few years with you? Have they slowly been eroding your benefits? Uh, yes, uh, they have been trying a lot, and we have been uh, since September. We have, we have been trying to negotiate. Okay, thanks a lot then. Thank you. Bye. Been in the center system for about six or seven years. Yeah. And this is actually my second s strike in that six or second year. Yeah. Second incident. But anyway, uh, corporate America just wants the, the, the workers to work for less. They're taking away pensions and health care plans that the nurses uh, and employees uh, deserve because we work so hard uh, for the patients and for the corporation. Uh, we're, we're, we're a, a representation of the corporation. So they should respect that and appreciate that because mm -hmm. we do work hard and we deserve the pension plans and we deserve the health care plans and we deserve our salaries. Well, um, tell me this, the, 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 the guy mentioned the, the Central Labor Council there and I know it's when I spoke I asked if anybody had ever heard of it almost nobody knew what it was. Do you know what the Central Labor Council is? Actually, I had never heard of it before, before you brought it up. Yeah. And um, it's something that needs to be uh, put out there more for us to know about. Well, the thing is, the city council member that spoke and brought it up... Ah, oh, there, that's the end of that. We, we can't... Well, let's back up. The council member that, that brought up the city, the uh, Central Labor Council, was a delegate there when I was a delegate there. And, and uh, that's the reason I asked if anybody had ever heard of it, and nobody had. But the thing is, it would be in because it, it's it's the AFL-CIO body that is the county body of the AFL-CIO. So it, it's, it has about sixty thousand workers affiliated to it. The thing is, don't you think it would be you'd know what it was if it was actually organizing and mobilizing members to fight back the more? I think that's the way politics works. If they, it goes back to the 
same issue. Um, yeah, it's not just about nurses, is it? We don't know. What we don't know is what hurts us. Yeah. And um, part of us not knowing anything about you is uh, what's keeping us from moving forward. Yeah. So maybe we need to be joining forces or maybe we need to be uh, connecting in some kind of way so that we can be brought to the, to the Yeah, and, and the young people. I mean, unions, we, 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 we should fight for the young people, the unorganized. Get, we're all in this together. Well, exactly. And then there are other parts of the country that are not even unionized. So, you know, maybe we need to try to organize something so we can get those those. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, entities on board, but you know, that's an even harder fight. <laughs> yeah. Because if they're not organized now, then it's going to be even more difficult yeah, to get things are get, Things are getting harder. Well, thanks a lot and good luck. Take it easy. We can see your greedy side. Sutter, Sutter, you can hide. We can see your greedy side. Okay, so this is one of the nurses here. What's your name? Brian Rose. Okay, so she, she's telling me an interesting story here. Uh, what happened to you the other day? Well, two days ago, I was in um, Weeple by Union City. There's a strike ongoing. Um, I think it's a factory. Yeah. So I honk my horn to support them. Yeah. And the policeman pulled me over. And then I asked him, you know, what did they do? And he said, you're not supposed to honk your horn. Oh, that's unbelievable. Yeah, there. They gave me a ticket for that. That shows you, well, we should have a collection on this picket line to help you pay. How much was it? I don't know yet. Oh, that's asking, right. I was asking the policeman. He said he doesn't know. So I don't want to argue. So I don't want to you know, get Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So what do you think of what's happened? What do you think of the situation? You're out for one day, you think? Uh, that's just it? Yes, yes. Here's a friend here. They're locking you out? Yeah, for one day. So yeah. we won't be able to return to work until, until the 24th. Yeah. Um, well, you know, That's punishment for yeah, you. punishment for us. So, uh, anyway, we're here because, you know, what Sutter is trying to do to us, you know, take away a lot of uh, things that we've worked for so hard for so many years. Yeah. And they keep saying it's a win-win situation. Yeah. Whatever they're offering us. But, you know, that's not true, you know, they win, but not yeah. us. So if they have their ways, then, you know, they, they just want to take away a lot of our stuff. Yeah. And, and it's interesting that none of you knew what the, the only people that knew what the, cent, what the Central Labor Council is when I mentioned it was the two people, the two politicians. You've not heard of it, neither of you. If you want to move close together, I can get you both in. Here they are, look. <laughs> um, neither of you had heard of it, right? Uh, no. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, you know, we, we, since they are San Leandro officials, so yeah. we thought. Though most of them, I know that like, uh, a, a couple of them have helped us in the past. You know, so a couple of them are what? Had helped us in the past. Yeah. Like, uh, as far as, like, support. And as far as... Uh, <laughs> They yeah they turn up but yeah. th what they do is the question but uh, you know the th the thing I was going to ask you also what your friend here getting that ticket for honking in support of a picket line that's that's pretty bad isn't it yes it is definitely you know it's like like a freedom of expression so yeah why are you why are they stopping you from doing that you're not hurting anybody <laughs> well you're supporting a strike that's the problem yeah. all right. Have you got anything more to say before I shut off? Um, not at this time. We want to go back to the picket line. Okay. And, uh, and you? Same, we same should chip in and we should chip in and pay your fine. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Take care. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. Thank you.